Hey guys, I decided to retrofit USB hub into my Volkswagen Golf Mark 7 and here it is, here's the part that I'm going to install in the vehicle but before um, I'm going to do this I want to test uh, this device over here and that's why I'm splitting this tutorial into two parts. So the part one is right now I'm going to show you which parts I believe are going to be needed to perform this retrofit and we're going to test it over here and I'm going to explain to you why um, why maybe you, were, you will be interested in performing such retrofit in your vehicle. And the part two hopefully will be the uh, installation in Golf Mark 7. So over here I have the USB hub. This part is pretty much the same for most of the uh, VAG vehicles. This one was taken from Volkswagen Polo, but the same part will be found in Passat, Arteon, Tiguan, Golf Mark 7 and so on. So this costs me about six or seven bucks. It's of course used and those connectors were included but the wiring is damaged it's it's cut but i i was able to use my multimeter to check how this uh, uh, pinouts are uh, organized over here and what i also got is this uh, fuse box cabin fuse box from uh, skoda octavia i believe happily happily uh, most uh, MQB cars, so Golf Mark 7, Skoda Octavia, Seat Leon and Audi A3 8V are uh, using uh, the same parts and this fuse box is exactly the same as in my Golf Mark 7 so I will be able to use it to uh, to learn how to add wiring to it and I can also so source parts from it like like those terminals it also it was also cheap like five or six bucks for this piece of equipment okay so why would you want to do this why would you uh, want to swap your standard usb port with this usb hub so first of all if you have the basic usb port you are able to connect only usb drives uh, to it uh, to uh, listen to some mp3s or you can connect your android phone to it and use android auto of course if your car is equipped with uh, um, uh, installation code for the Android Auto feature. The standard USB port will not work with CarPlay. It will not work with your iPhone for anything other than charging it. So if you are enabling um, AppConnect and you are adding CarPlay into your vehicle, you will have to replace your USB port with, uh, uh, with a different one, with a bit, little bit more advanced one which can be um, expensive it's about 40 or 50 bucks i believe for the usb port so the idea is to replace the standard usb port with this usb hub and even with the uh, wiring that's required over here still this is cheaper than the advanced single usb port and you get the uh, extra usb port over here so you can use two usb ports at the same time for example, one for CarPlay connection and the other one for um, MP3 media playback from a USB drive. And this is how this device works. So we have total five connectors over here. This is the power connector with uh, three wires. Uh, this is 12 volts, this is ground and this is 5 volts. Uh, ground connection goes uh, wherever 12 volts should goes to the, uh, should go to the fuse box and the 5 volt goes to the uh, infotainment uh, mine unit this will trigger this device uh, to turn on so this is just a trigger and over here we have four uh, hsd connectors i believe the green one over here goes to your mine uh, mine unit of your infotainment uh, system so, so this goes to MIB and you are actually using the wiring that's uh, right now going to your single USB port. So instead of the USB port at the end of this wire, you will have this hub and uh, this port, the purple one and this port, the brown one are going to USB 1 and USB 2. So this you can connect to your um, to your existing USB port and over here you can add another one. Um, for your convenience and this one the black one I believe uh, it's only for charging so you can charge a third device over here or if your car is equipped with some kind of uh, 
in some kind of uh, payphone system, uh, the device will be powered through it. So this is the case if you already have the uh, USB hub installed from the factory. Okay, so right now let's provide 12 volts over here. Let's provide ground connection. Let's uh, uh, provide 5 volt trigger. Let's connect multimeter over here to check how's the voltage on the output of this device. And let's connect one of the uh, AliExpress, uh, AliExpress USB cables to the ground connector. And let's connect phone to the other side to check if it will be actually charging. Okay, so everything is set up. All I need right now is connect the 12 volt power to it. Phone is charging. Multimeter is showing 5.3 volts at, the, at this output. And we have 700 milliamps right now and it's slowly getting up. Okay, so I believe this device is working and the wiring uh, is correct. And one important thing, this black uh, wire from AliExpress had uh, um, a different order of pins in the connector. So over here at the top, I have the standard pinout of the uh, wires that you will have in your vehicle. And this one from AliExpress has a rotated layout. So I had to remove from this connector the lock just to be able to connect it uh, in a rotated position, 180 degrees rotated. And this allows me to use this cable with, uh, with uh, any other device. And one more thing that I want to show you is the uh, fuse box over here and how to add wires to it. So the 12 volt uh, power supply should be uh, provided by the fuse 16 over here. It's the second one to the left. This is the 15, this is 16. And you can see that there's an empty, empty uh, slot over here, which you can use to add, to add a terminal. This is how the terminal looks like. And there's a piece of wire over here and let me show you how to do it of course you can provide the 12 uh, volt uh, power supply from uh, somewhere else but i i want to try to do it from the fuse box so you have those two purple locks over here and if you move the upper one this one like this now you are able to add to add this part. So let's push it in place. It should click. Am I able to do it? And right now push this lock in place. It should lock. This is now secured. And now you can add fuse over here to join this power uh, rail over here by the fuse with the um, terminal connected to this wire, which will be connected to the USB hub. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, give me thumbs up if you like this uh, part one, the introduction to the USB hub retrofit in Mi2 device in Golf Mark 7. And see you soon.